over the last few weeks, I've been cooking inside me a transmission, a teaching, a sharing on initiation and the nervous system. And I've just seen that Bruce Lyon has done a post about this exact thing and he's uh, languaged it and captured it better than I think I was going to be able to. So rather than writing my own piece and offering that to the collective, I'm going to read Bruce's. Over the past decade, a quiet revolution has taken place across therapeutic, spiritual, and educational fields. Somatic language has entered the mainstream. People now speak about regulation, titration, attachment patterns, windows of tolerance, and co-regulation with an ease that would have been unthinkable 20 years ago. This trauma-informed shift has brought an important cultural correction. It has reminded us that transformation cannot be forced, that safety matters, and that the human nervous system deserves respect. But something else has emerged alongside these gains, something harder to name, a growing polarity between the trauma-informed world and the older initiatory traditions that once shaped human development. On one side, we now have cultures built around safety, regulation, and somatic repair. On the other, cultures built around thresholds, challenge, intensity, and transformation. Each side sees something the other does not. Each side holds a truth the other tends to forget. And each side carries shadows that become harmful when taken as the whole truth. The trauma-informed movement has offered immense gifts, a recentering of consent, and a new respect for the fragility of early developmental wounding. It has helped prevent the kinds of psychological fractures that were once common in spiritual communities. It has shown that many mystical collapses were not enlightenment at all, but unrecognized trauma responses. This increased sensitivity has made spiritual work more humane. At the same time, the initiatory traditions hold a different set of gifts that modern culture still desperately needs. They know, in a way that trauma discourse alone cannot teach, that human beings grow at thresholds. They understand that fear is not only a danger signal, but also a doorway, that meaning arises not just from comfort, but from encounters with the unknown. Initiatory work helps us meet intensity consciously. It offers direct contact with the sacred, with the deeper self, and with the communal depths accessed through shared rites of passage. It cultivates courage, presence, and orientation towards truth that the body alone cannot supply. These traditions knew how to grow the human being, not only repair it.